Oh no, my chew can's empty. Luckily, I have a whole jar of chew in the fridge, so I just have to dig it out of there, refill my can. There, now my can's full again, ready for another day. Here's my tobacco. I ordered a 10 pound box because there's a discount if you order 10 pounds. This is dark air cured. The label say it says Fronto Dark Air Cured J1 10 pounds. I got this from leafonly.com. I also bought some from wholeleaf.com. I'm just uh, taking my tobacco leaves out and tearing this big middle stem out of the leaf. I'll throw that away. I only want the leaves, not the big stem in the middle. And tear them up a little bit, throw them in my pot, pull out another leaf. This takes a while. I need to tear off about six, I need 600 grams of leaves, but I probably won't, uh, by the time I grind them and everything, it dries out and loses weight, so I need to shred at least 650 grams of leaves in order to make uh, three jars, three pints of chew. And just take the stems, I'm just gonna throw those away. And then uh, the hardest part is gonna be grinding up all these leaves. Okay, I've been tearing up these leaves for the past 40 minutes. Let's see how much I got. I wanna have at least 650 grams. There's all the stems, I'll just throw those away. To do this you need a good little scale. This is a food scale from Amazon. Oh yeah, we're doing good. I'm going to have some extra. Extra's okay. That's 745. That's plenty. The next step is I'm going to put these into this food processor to chop them up a little smaller. Sometimes I gotta mix this up a little bit. I get them about as small as I can get them in there. Alright, this is about as small as I can get it in this uh, food processor. So it's not even close to ground up enough. And I just have to do a little bit at a time. Okay, and then uh, just do it again. Okay, after about a half an hour of uh, grinding, I have it ground up a little bit. That's the first step of my grinding process. Alright, the next step is I gotta make it smaller. I'm gonna use a Ninja Blender, do a little bit at a time. You can see it turns a little bit finer. This is like after I blend it over here. That's before I blend it. So I just have to keep going through one little bit at a time. Okay, after about 20 minutes I got this ground up like that. Now I need to do one final grinding. This one's kind of slow because this grinder's so small. It's a little coffee grinder is what it is. I can only do that much at a time. And that looks pretty good. About like that. It's kind of uh, in between rough cut and fine cut. And then I just keep going until I have this whole bowl full done. Making progress. 
my little coffee grinder here is getting too hot to hold on to. While I wait for that to cool off, I'm going to get my cooking pot ready. This old uh, pressure cooker pot that we picked up at the second hand store works really good. It fits three pint jars. Just perfect. I'll just fill these jars up with water. And then I will fill the pot up until the water level is up to the threads on the jars. That should be good right there. Put that on the stove and turn it on and let that start heating up. Okay, I've been grinding about a half an hour with my little coffee grinder. i got to give it another break, but I'm getting close. While I wait, I'm going to make a small pot of coffee. Extra strong. So that'll be ready when I need it. Okay, I got it all ground up. I had to, took a while because I had to take breaks every once in a while to let my grinder cool off. 690. So I lost about uh, between 60 and 70 grams due to just uh, drying out. 600 grams of tobacco that I need to do at least 650 to have enough. Next thing is I need to weigh out enough tobacco to make one jar. 200 grams. Alright, back in here. 200 grams. So I'm going to put my 200 grams of tobacco into the food processor. Okay, my jars are nice and toasty warm. Not hot enough to burn me yet, but I just need to take out one of my jars here. Just going to dry that out a little bit. Put that jar on my scale. Zero that. Now I'm going to add 10 grams of this food grade glycerin. There we go. Zero that again. Now I'm going to add salt. I need 35 grams of salt. There we go. 35 grams of salt and 190 grams of coffee 190 grams of coffee there we go 191 close enough now i'm going to put my lid and my ring on tighten that down a little bit and then i'm going to swirl it around I'm reusing the old lids so it's leaking a little bit. That's mixed up pretty good. To the food processor, I pour that in slowly. It's kind of getting to be a darker brown now. When I get done, it'll be almost black after it cooks. That should be good. It'd be easier if I just dump it out here. There now, it'll be a little easier to pack my jar. You got to really kind of push it down with your finger to get it all to fit in there. I'm packing it down good. Okay, that jar is ready. Put the lid on, then back it off so it's loose. Make sure the lid's a little bit loose. 
take another jar out and do it again two more times for the other two jars okay three jars in there turn the heat up I'm gonna bring those guys up to a boil uh, this is actually a pressure cooker but I don't put anything over the vent hole so so it never builds up very much pressure I just want the temperature to get up to boiling 212 Fahrenheit and then hold it there I'll put it on low and it'll stay there on simmer for five hours of course next thing is uh, cleaning up my wife's kitchen I did calculations and I figured out that uh, one jar is equivalent to about 13 cans at first I was all about price now I'm doing it because I like this recipe better than the store-bought stuff but still price is important this works out to be about 80 to a dollar a can depending on how uh, how much your tobacco costs in the first place and shipping and everything I got some ground up tobacco left over I'll just save that for my next batch I can just stick it in a jar and put it on the shelf it'll be fine okay I can hear it boiling now I'm gonna turn it all the way down to the lowest setting and then set my timer for five hours and just let it simmer and bubble for five hours and it'll be done okay it's all done now I just want to Snug up the lids, let them sit and cool off overnight, and then put them in the fridge. I've got a five week supply to chew. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm.